Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from MechTech Keyboards. And today we're just taking a quick look at the newest or latest revision of Red Dragon's K530 Draconic Pro. Now, if you know the K530 from previous, it's a 60%, but this one has been upgraded not only to be free mode, Bluetooth and 2.4 gigahertz, but it also has a little trick up the sleeve that thankfully a lot of the budget manufacturers have been catching on and i think in the upcoming year we're going to see a lot of these with these changes now they're still manufactured from what i know by autonomy but if you can see we have five pin switch compatibility wide legs can apply and will fit and will work so we finally have Red Dragon boards that are being released that will work with any switches. Now, I think that's a thing to rejoice. I know when I first really, I mean, I got my first mechanical, well, technically my first mechanical was way back in the last century. But when I got back into it, um, I the couple of first couple of boards that I bought were already soldered on, so I didn't really do really any hot swap because it wasn't really a thing they were just soldered but when i first got i was like oh look hot swap board i i bought one um i want to say it was the 552 anyway it's the temu sockets could have been actually the use of board and then i bought some gator rounds because hey i'm gonna load up some gator rounds on here and i was like why aren't they working and i didn't realize i didn't know the round hot swap sockets, the Otemu or Milmax style hot swap sockets, don't work with a lot of switches. And I learned the hard way. Um, now, granted, I was eventually able to use those switches, so it wasn't like a big loss, but I was still just like, what? It, what's going on here? What is this? So, I mean, to me, hot swap, it's Cherry MX. It should work, right? No, I was wrong. But now we don't have to worry about that. Now we have, the, we do have the LED flush. Um, with the uh, PCB, which is also a plus because um, if you want to install some switches that may not have a bottom window, they're gonna go right in, no problem. I mean, this is a five pin switch and you can, nope. Helps if I actually do it the right way. I'm trying to put it in south face. So that is a nice and welcome change. And I think um, the only other thing I think we can see or that I'd love to see, I mean, this is just a wish. I'm, I don't, I have not heard anything about this, but if these uh, more budget manufacturer in stock products um, would start either releasing for sale different material plates, even if it's only, you know, PC and aluminum, or just PC, heck, and or releasing the CAD files so that one can make their own or have it made, you know, FR4 plate, aluminum, whatever you want, so that we could actually, because once we're actually able to move away from steel, I think that we're, you know, these boards, I mean, there, there's only, don't get me wrong, these boards can be modded to sound really nice. But when you have a steel plate, you're going to be fighting against that higher pitch noise. So it's only so deep or so nice you're going to be able to get it. I mean, unless you're looking for that higher pitch, then, I mean, some people do like it so that steel board works for you. But if you're looking for that deeper, the marbly, the bocky, that deeper sound profile, steel or metal, it's got a it's higher pitch. So it's going to be working against you. When it comes to that so that's one thing that i'd like to see i don't know if they're going to do it or not but it's just a it's just a thought so anyway this is 60 percent we do have two function keys and this actually does have per key rgb now that's something that you don't see too often even on higher end boards but i played around with this actually because I, I filmed the video beforehand but the microphone wasn't working so <laughs> There was no audio. So um, I've had a chance to play with it a little bit more. 
and I actually opened up the software and was surprised to find that it actually has per key RGB programmability. Um, now this board does it MSRPs for $69.99, but I've seen it on sale many times, close to half the price. So um, if you do want to check this out, I'd say wait on a sale. Now Red Dragon Shop or Red Dragon Arcade Gaming Store, I, I forget there. I'll put a link in the description. I know they regularly have 20, 25, 30% off sales um, and they have coupons regularly floating around. But on Amazon, I've seen these, you know, just buy or sale or sale for a week or whatever. Usually you can find them for less than MSRP. But so with this one, we got the, uh, the brown Red Dragon switches loaded up and we have the default um, keycaps, which are OEM profile, and they are double shot shine through. So they are a little bit weaker. I'd say they're probably under a millimeter because I could bend them a bit. Now I can't bend them to the point that I think they would break because on a keyboard um, that I came across not too long ago, but they are thinner. so gonna have a higher pitch there as well now before I go I will leave you guys with a stock sound test but this is one of the keyboards I'm gonna look forward to to come back and seeing how good especially now because I mean it's been a while since I've modded a red dragon board so with everything that I've learned over the course of the last year applying it to this who knows what I'll be able to achieve with it so should be interesting let's get technical Today, we're taking a look at the Red Dragon Draconic K530 Pro. This is a 60% free mode wireless keyboard with a 1600 milliamp hour battery. It has hot swap compatibility with both 3 and 5 pin switches and also has programmable per key RGB using the software. It retails for $69.99 but can be found regularly on sale. It weighs stock 656 grams and has a chin of 20 millimeters in height. The back is 26 millimeters in height, giving you a default typing angle of six degrees. If using the included legs to raise the back, raises the height to 33 millimeters and gives you a typing angle of 11 degrees. So today we took a look at the Red Dragon K530 Draconic Pro, um, a 60% free mode wireless. Um, it is the latest version or upgraded version, so it does now accept any type of switch. Uh, well, Cherry MX switch, mind you. They're not going to fit any to topers in here, that's for sure. But we do have a uh, you know minimalistic 60% design. The case is very similar, I would say, to the RK61 others in that format except we do have the USB C port and the switches on the side now this does include a um, USB cable with an elbow so it's going to be out of the way for the most part depending on your setup now obviously it is wireless so <laughs> you go without the wires but with a 1600 milliamp hour battery if you're using RGB I wouldn't expect more than probably 10 days would be my guess of you know regular eight hour days with the battery but i mean if you plug it in at night before you go you'll always be charged so anyway i am going to leave you guys with a stock sound test of the red dragon k530 pro draconic um, that was sent over to me by red dragon they seem to be upping their game i mean they have like i said those hot swap sockets are going to make a big difference, especially to entrance into the hobby. I don't know how many times I have read or heard somebody say, well, I bought a hot swap keyboard and then I bought some switches and they didn't work. So it's all just a lie or, you know, whatever. I mean, it, it, it's frustrating um, because a lot of these terms are interchangeable. But when you don't have two different types of hot swap sockets, out in the marketplace, it's not going to be that confusing. People won't be upset if they come across that same issue. So anyway, thanks to Red Dragon for sending me this keyboard out. I will be coming back to it to mod it. Um, it'll be nostalgia, but also, like I said, I, I intend to apply things that I've learned um, and maybe 
maybe I'll get a little creative and we'll get a little crazy when we go to the mat. But we'll have some fun nonetheless. Anyway, I'm going to leave you guys with the stock sound test of this key. Until next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.